All right, let's uh, talk about doing a, a basic uh, line chart and uh, column chart. So first of all, you would just add a chart. you got to pick a chart. We can start with the column. We can start with the line. So we're going to flip between them. And then just um, expand it out, make it bigger. OK. Now, uh, of course, I've already got my data set. And what does my data set look like? Let's come into the data set. What we've got is query designer. Um, let's pull this out. So what we've got is we've got the film name. These are Oscar winning films. We got what it made at the box office, which is basically the gross. And we've got uh, film budget, which is how much was spent. So if you subtract the two, you'd get the net. Um, so we could do a ca calculated field showing the net. Um, then we've got the release date. And what I'm going to do is just basically graph these two series of data by the date. And I, I expect that you understand what a series is and you understand that you've, you know, you've graphed data before in some sort of program like Excel. So you're familiar with things like what is an x-axis, what is the y-axis, what, what is a series of data, that sort of thing. Okay, so now let's set, so when you just click on the graph itself, you get this Pro, this uh, data properties box here, and this val the values you put here, the basically the fields you put here, are the fields for your series of data, while the field you put down here in the category groups is what you're graphing by. So you want to graph your series by this, and here we're we're doing uh, the money the, the money involved with the film versus the date. So we want to put the date column down here, which is the release date. And we want to put our series data up here, which is the box office dollars and the budget dollars. Now notice it's going to do an aggregation automatically right off the bat. It's going to do a sum. But the way we're graphing the data, it doesn't really matter here. But we could take that sum out if we wanted. Um, because we're not grouping it. We're, we're, we're doing it by individual date. If we were somehow grouping it but like based on country or based on year, then the sum would come into play. So now if we just hit preview, it will graph our data. So here you, we can see we're, we're dealing with really large number, numbers here. Um, and here's our date. And the date doesn't, didn't really come out very well. So we probably want to reformat that, reformat that. Also, the way uh, this is, this is a line data. And this would be really good if you're looking for like trends in the data. So, but really, there you can see there, and there is a trend here because we're going all the way back to some of the first films ever made. You know, the Oscars have been around for a while, and you can see there's a clear trend here that more money is being spent to make money movies, and more money is being spent uh, uh, to pay you know, the buying public to to pay for movies. You're making more money off off these movies. Um, and, but also, you know, notice there's some like interesting peaks here. It'd be nice if when we uh, moused over the peaks, we could get, we could find out like what movie that was or something like that. So let's look at what we can do with this. Um, another thing though, it's is really interesting is how you can very easily change the chart type. Just right click on the chart and hit change chart type. And we can flip to a totally different type of chart. So, and notice this is not your data. This is what your axis are, and this is what your title is, but this data is dummy data. You won't see your data until you hit preview. So this is our data. And this actually makes a little more sense, um, doing a, a bar chart here, because the films are really more I individual entities. And then, But if we really didn't care about the individual entities, we were just looking for that trend, then we want an XY. So that's kind of the XY versus the bar chart. Bar chart is when you have like individual entities of data, um, while a line, while doing a line graph is more looking for trends. Okay, we still really need to do some formatting here. We probably don't want to do such a large range here. It gets kind of messy. But anyway, let's see. If we click on here, if you click on us on the individual series, then you can go to the properties for that series. And one thing you really want to do, one of the first things you're going to want to do is decide like the markers, whether or you, not you want markers. And, um, 
and this is of course where you can easily change you know whether or not whether what type of aggregation you want to use like we don't really need that aggregation so oh and here's where we can put that tooltip so we could actually show the the film name here but we don't want to count. It, it, it really defaults to using aggregations. You, if you don't need aggregations, you're, you're going to be spending a little time getting rid of those aggregations. So now we have the count. Um, also, if we want to filter by date here, we could change the uh, chart properties and go into filters and say add. And we want to filter based on the release date. And we want to say between. So we might say between 1, 1, 2000 and um, 1, 1, let's say 2002, so like two years worth of data, so we don't get such a crowded uh, chart. And now when we mouse over, now you just see it says Harry Potter, and this one's Lord of the Rings. So now we've get, we're getting that mouse over that we set up. And like, oh, let's you know, let's let's look at formatting that. So you uh, click on that and then right click on it, of course, to get your properties. And you can go to number. And of course, this is currency. This is money, and it's really big. So let's put it in billions. So let's preview that. So see, now we've got money, and it's much easier to read. And it's it's easy to compare now. You know the, the individual movie. You know this. This is a how much the movie made. This is how much was spent on the movie. So it's really easy to see um, that they made a lot of money relative to how much uh, money they put into it. And like even this film down here, they didn't make very much money compared to these other films. But they didn't put very much money into it either. So they still made it a lot of money back on that movie. But see, here's a movie that lost. We can mouse over it and we say The Beach. Never heard of that movie. Um, but The Beach. They uh, didn't make as much as they put into it. They put a lot into it and uh, didn't make it back. Uh, and then here's a here's a film that barely broke even, and that's Shanghai Noon. Um, so like here's a film they very little money. So you you can and you can very quickly uh, make some astute uh, observations. Like uh, uh, this is Hidden, Hidden Dragon, Crouching Tiger. Uh, they didn't put that much money into it relative to other movies, but they made a lot. So um, very, very interesting data that you can very quickly pull out. And let's see, let's go in. So you can easily just flip your chart type um, and get different, um, you know, see what works and what doesn't work. Like you can see very quickly that this kind of data does not lend itself to a pie chart. Uh, again, this is just dummy data. And if you look at it, go, you know, you the file was unsaved changes do you want to reload it sure i'll reload it um you can see we've got way too many series uh, points in our series so pie chart uh, you really just want one series and you don't want that many points of data um so we'll, we'll look at that in another video how to do a pie chart this is really just about doing graph and uh, bar so like um We will look at some of these other types. You can see there's a lot of different types here. Okay, that's that, that's just a basic intro to uh, line charts and bar charts. Any questions, leave them below.